just you know the, your position group seems like every day of practice you see them making a lot of good plays. How happy have you been with that group? Uh, extremely happy. Uh, we, we have a bunch of veteran guys who's back. We have a, a fresh nucleus of, of, of young players looking to make their mark on their team. So it's a good mixture, a combination of guys who are hungry, out there willing to work, and a very competitive group. So, you know, we, we still got some position battles, you know, going on. But for the most part, I think guys have solidified themselves, and we, I think we, we're trying to establish some depth right now. How impressed have you been with the consistency of AZ and Fentrell? Oh man, we just just going into to the off season. They they knew that they had to step step their roles up. I think both of those guys have have approached it like pros. They come out every day. They work. They've been an example to the younger guys. They made plays on the ball. You know, it's just just two veteran guys who handle themselves correctly, the, the the right way on and off the field, man. And it, it, it's paying dividends not only for our team, you know, but, but for the young guys as well. So trail seeds they made a jump this uh, fall from last year. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what are you seeing in terms of his level of play? I just think the comfortability within the defense. Obviously, coming from Virginia, he was more of a a, a bell off man guy. Here we're we're eighty five percent, you know, press man. So, you know, just just him getting the feel for for that and it takes some guys longer than others, but like I said, he's worked on it this off season, and, and you can tell that's paying dividends, you know, this fall camp. You got a lot of really talented young DBs. Do they have any patience about them, or are they, are they, are they, are they pushing to get out there? Hey, man, that's the, that's the life of college football now. Guys want to get on the field, but, you know, at, at Florida State, you, you want to have a room where you have 15 guys who you feel comfortable with playing, and I think... You know, we're, we're somewhat around that number, guys who I feel comfortable with that can go in the game and, and give us valuable production. So, like I said, man, it, it's, this football game is an unforgiving game. So I always remind the guys that they're one play away, so I always prepare like a starter. I think those guys that have taken heed to that and, and been good this, this camp. Have any of those young guys, like, exceeded your expectations? Well, the, the expectations has, has always been high for them. You know, ever since day one, you know, those guys have shown – that they, they're good good football players. Obviously, some extenuating circumstances that's caused them to take a step back. But I think this camp, for the most part, they've been really good both on and off the field, man. And they're, they're getting the extra studies in. They're, they're learning from the older guys. Like I said, they're making plays each and every day. And, you know, come August 24th, you know, when the, when the pressure's on, you throw into that fire. I got to have trust as a coach. We got to have trust as a staff that you're going to go in the game and do the right thing. So we're just getting to prepare for that moment. You had three guys go to the NFL from the secondary and two pretty high draft picks. Um, were you confident even back then that you guys wouldn't miss a beat or have you gotten more confident as, as a year ago? I, I knew what we had coming back, especially when Fentrell decided to come back. And we, we had some, some great leadership in Shy Brown at the safety position. You know, along with Kevin Knowles, who who had to, was thrust into a position that he wasn't comfortable with last year. Now he's back at the, has his normal position. He's been lights out during camp, and just that addition addition of all uh, Devontae Brown, Earl, oh, and the younger guys taking that next step. I knew that we would have a good. Group. It was just a matter of, of putting putting it all together. You know, defining roles for guys and, and just going out there and letting them play. How much fun has it been to see Kevin kind of come through the other side? It seems like he's playing with much more confidence again and making plays. Yeah, man, he's a, he's a mature guy. He, he made plays here when he's a true freshman, had some, some injury issues. Last year, he was playing a, a position, you know, unfamiliar to him. Now he, he's back in, in solid grounds. He's a very, very cerebral football player. Uh, he's a humble guy. He makes plays on the ball. You know, that's what we need in our secondary. And uh, I think he'll bring that to that unit this year. Safety positions, uh, how they fit with the corners. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, uh, we have Shai, Shaheen Brown's coming back, who's, who played over 900 snaps for us. is a, a really, really key cock guy, secondary leader on his team. Uh, we got guys like Conrad Hussey, who, who we're looking to take that next step. You know, uh, still a work in progress, but I think he's he's going to get get there, you know, eventually. Uh, guys like K.J. Kirkland and, and Ashlyn Barker, you know, guys who – as a coach, I feel comfortable that they can go in the game and get the job done. And then when you add a guy like Devontae Brown, who's, who's, who has some some meaningful snaps on this belt, started at corner, uh, played a little safety. Now he, he's playing safety for us. A guy just bring that knowledge and experience to that secondary, you know, only helps the group as a whole.
Coach Norvell got real excited last week a couple times when Ed went. A couple guys made plays where they weren't in great position, but still made plays on the ball. Like, is that a, a learned thing, or is that just competitiveness? Like, what, what's the key to, to doing yeah, that? Yeah, it's, it's some some of everything. Uh, obviously, you're not going to be in the best position on 100% of the ball, so I always tell the guys how you adjust. You know, you might not win at the line of scrimmage. What's your transition like? So. We're just trying to get those get those guys to be grounded, man. You know, getting the snap from the from the sideline, being in the correct positions, and like I said, it's a work in progress. But we made progress throughout camp, and come August 24, you know, I I feel that I'm gonna have the confidence to be able to rely on all, all those guys. Did Cooper rejoin the team? And, mm -hmm. uh, what are where does he fit into it, and what's, what's your evaluation there? Oh, uh, no, Duke, Duke brings some some veteran presence to our, to our uh, team. He he provides some versatility. He can play safety. He can play nickel. Uh, obviously, he, he played corner in the past. So just his versatility, his leadership within the room, his special teams value. You know, he, he came into a situation where we had a loaded room. So he, he was kind of behind the A ball trying to fight his way up, but he's put his head down. He's worked ever since he's gotten here. And I think, you know, as the season go, man, as a war of attrition, you know, during this college football season, especially with the expanded playoffs, I think as the season goes goes on, he'll have a, a valuable role for this team. Earl's obviously really talented. What have you seen from him, like, in the spring, getting here, and then now, like, his progress? Yeah, it's just a matter of him getting healthy, y'all. Uh, throughout the whole spring, he's coming off a shoulder surgery, had the green jersey on, so he wasn't really full contact. Now, come fall practice, you know, he, he's full. You see him flying around making plays and I, I'm excited about him because I think he has has a chip on his shoulder, you know, being hurt his first two years in college, you know, getting the opportunity to, to come to Florida State and, and join a, a really, really good DB room. You know, the, the competition has been great. You know, him and KP is going back and forth. Uh, so he's gonna he's gonna provide some 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 valuable playing time for us and uh, I expect him to go out there and make plays for us. Coach Dugan's mentioned uh, in, in an interview with us that uh, Coach Norville has to create a culture between the offense, the receivers, and the defensive backs. Mm -hmm. They're kind of helping each other. And, and, and the Dugan says he has that with you as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, man, we, we, we push each other every day. Uh, every day in practice, we do releases with the receivers. You know, they, they give us looks, we give them looks, and you can tell there's a, it's a healthy competition. And at the end of the day, you know, it's going to benefit both sides of the ball. So. You know, we, we go out there and give those guys our best. You know, a lot of teams don't play, you know, press coverage like we do all the time. So just giving those guys a different look. So when they get in the game, you know, it'll become easier for them because, you know, you've been against the best guys in practice. So, like I said, man, as a healthy competition, uh, guys respect each other. You know, we, we're not out there to try to hurt nobody at the same time. We're going to compete our tails off, you know, to, to make a play. So. Those guys get along on and off the field, man. It, it, it's a good, good group between the receivers and DBs. The, the competition inside the group, too. Um, some of these position battles are obviously really tight. Mm -hmm. um, do you think the five guys or four or five guys that start in game one necessarily will be the same guys throughout the season, or do you think that competition is going to go on? Like I said, man, as, as, a, as a DB coach, as a, you know, you have to keep guys ready. Like I said, injuries occur in college football and in the game of football, period. So. It has to be next man up, and, and I, I tell the guys all the time, if you're on the field, you're a starter. So I don't look at it as, a, as you're on the second team, third team. If, if I put you on the field, you know, you have a responsi responsibility to this team to go out and be your very best. So I think that's how the guys are approaching it, and it's so far so good. Coach, what have you seen on film from Georgia Tech, and how important is it to start that scout team work today? Oh, um, man, they have a really good group. They, they want to run the ball. They led the ACC in rushing last year, so that's their bread and butter there. Their head coach is a former O-line coach, so you know you know how he feels. He, he wants to bludgeon the defense, uh, run the ball, play action pass, take shots, and they have some some really really quick receivers out there. You know who, who can stretch the field. So you know they they have a good team, man. They have some good skill position guys. The quarterback's really good. Uh, he's a dual threat guy, so we got to be worried about him both running and throwing the ball. But I think our guys will be ready for the challenge. Oh, so we get a good sense of it from our receivers and the speed that they present to us. So I think it'll be some carryover to the Georgia Tech game. Edwin, Edwin Jones, another like talented young guy. What have you seen from him? Oh, uh, just get, just continue to mature, you know, both, both on and on, off the field. I think, you know, people on the outside only see the on the field stuff, the football stuff, but 
takes some guys longer to mature off the field. And I think he's hit that point where he's he's starting to to trend up. He's been really good in practice. He's taking care of his body, uh, making plays on the ball. Just some some little nuances that we have to you know keep dealing with with him to, to get him to that point. But uh, I like his progression so far. Jabril Wallace. Jabril Wallace. Yeah, Brill, uh, he started off uh, on fire. Got a concussion, so that kind of set him back. Now he's back out there, and that's a kid, man. He, he's a playmaker. He's a, he's a natural cover guy. You know, he, he provides versatility because he can play both corner and nickel for us. We kind of cross-train them. And uh, as the season goes on, man, I expect him to go out there and, and be a playmaker for us.